Before we get into today's video, you see this red button right there? Please click it, subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. GBay here, back at it again with another Wild Rift video. Today is Wild Rift for Dummies, episode two. We're gonna be going over some summoner spells, what they are, when they're used, everything like that. By the way, in yesterday's video, Wild Rift for Dummies, episode one, we went through the different lanes. I wanted to say I was wrong. In the jungle, you can use an AP champion or an AD champion, not just AD. That's what I said. So just wanted to clear that up. Just to give a little background, every champion gets to use two summoner spells every game. No matter what, you always get two. And one of them should always be Flash. Always. 99.99%. So we're gonna go one by one here. We're gonna start off, sorry about the blurriness in the background, the best picture I could find. We're gonna start off with Flash. What is Flash? Flash, teleport a short distance forward or towards the aim direction, 150 second cooldown. So this can be used in two ways, essentially. You can use it to go towards an enemy to get a kill, finish a kill, or you can use it to run away from an enemy and stay alive. Couple other scenarios you can use it, but primarily those are the two biggest reasons. We're gonna show you some videos of people using flash. Right here we have anti mid, bang, flashes. You can see, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna do them. Every one we're gonna have slow-mo versions, just so we can make sure. Here we go, flash. You can see her just dash real quickly. That's flash right there. Just a short distance. It allows you to, you know, close a gap. Next up. We're gonna go over Ignite. What is Ignite? Ignite targets enemy champion, dealing 60 to 410 based on level, true damage over five seconds and inflicting them with grievous wounds, reducing healing effects by 50%, 90 second cooldown. So that healing thing might be a little bit confusing. We'll go over that later when we go over heal. Pretty much there's a summoner spell that is called heal. What it does is heal you. So essentially Ignite reduces healing effects by 50%. Whenever, th whenever that's used, it's gonna reduce the heal by 50%. Let's check it out. Let's see what Ignite looks like on the map. So here we have Garen and Jax fighting. So primarily you're gonna use Ignite whenever the champion you're facing is, is low health. Not ever gonna really wanna use it whenever they're full health, primarily low health. So you can see it has him low health. He used it oh, so, so close. He gets Jax down to 1% health. Look, you can see him right there. And then he accidentally uses ghosts right here, but we'll go over that later. So I slowed it down here. Wanted to make sure we saw what it is. So again, it's gonna do damage to the enemy champion in a burning effect over five seconds. And their health goes down little by little over those five seconds. So right there, that red strike was it. And you can see the X over Jax's head. Really a shame he didn't get him here. One HP. What are you gonna do sometimes? Next up, we have Barrier. Barrier is primarily used by mid lanes, although it can be used by any lane. Barrier, gain a shield that absorbs 115 to 465 based on level, damage for two seconds. So when it always says based on level, that means as you level up, the more powerful it gets. So you start at the bottom level with 115 and then it eventually levels up to 465. So right here, we're gonna see Lux really get, you know, three champions coming right at her. Does use barrier, but just not enough. Also, if you can see, she got ignited. You saw a little red X over her head. So we just went over that. Right here, slow it down, make sure you can see it. It does give you that, that little bit of white bar right there. You'll see it right here. There it is, that white bar. It really got taken down super quick. Super, super quick. Smite. Smite is only used for junglers, 99% of the time. Smite, deal 440 to 1000 based on level, true damage to a larger epic monster or minion. 10 second cooldown. Smiting monsters restore 70 plus 10% maximum health. Slaying four large monsters upgrade smite to chilling smite or challenging smite, which can target enemy champions. Hunting license, permanently earn 20% bonus experience from jungle monsters, but temporarily earn 20% less. So pretty much there is a little bit of difference from League of Legends PC to Wild Rift. So it's used in the jungle for junglers to gain health because when you're fighting those monsters, we'll, get, we'll show you right here in two seconds what fighting monsters means. They're gonna do damage to you. So it pretty much allows you to stay in the jungle longer, allows you to heal up. And then after slaying four large monsters, you can upgrade it to Chilling Smite or Challenging Smite, which can target enemy champions. So you can use it on an enemy champion. So it gives you that little bit of boost of health 
and really helps out sometimes. Definitely allows you to stay in the jungle longer. This is tough to see to smite on this one. He does it right before he gets out of there. Boom, he just smited it and he's gonna flash out. I think it was a decent, decent flash out. Not a good use of smite. You know, you really, what you wanna do also is to secure. It's to secure getting the large monster. If there is a fight for it and an enemy is trying to steal from you, right there, you just saw the yellow bolt come down. So it takes away health from the monster and it gives you health. Next up, heal. Heal is typically used by 80 carries, although any lane can use it. Heal, restore 80 to 360 based on level health and grants 30% bonus movement speed for one second to you and the most wounded nearby ally champion. 120 second cooldown. Healing is halved for champions recently affected by heal. So primarily used by 80 carries. And this reason is because as we know from yesterday, they're the main carries and the main people that are supposed to get kills. So right here, we slow it down. So Jinx uses it to help her support. If you look at the champion on the right with the blue health, you see when she uses it, bang. So it helps the near, most nearby champion with the least health. And in this case, Janna, the support that I had circled, was the least health and the only champion near. So it is speed boost as well as it heals you for a short amount of time. Exhaust. This is typically used by support champions, although it can be used by any lane. Exhaust. Exhaust target enemy champion, reducing their movement speed by 20% and their damage dealt by 40% for 2.5 seconds. 105 second cooldown. So this is used in bot lane a lot that you really want to use this on the AD carry that you're facing because it really, like it says, it makes them do less damage and it slows their movement. So easier to hit, easier to target, and they can't do as much damage. So right here we have Lock Spot Lane playing support. We're gonna show her using it. You can see right there, it's that red tornado going around in the circle. That's what it is. So that red circle, you can see use it on Blitzcrank. Wasn't the best use case, but Ghost with the last summer spell. Ghost. Gain a large burst of movement speed that decays to 25% bonus movement speed for six seconds. So a lot of top laners typically like to use this in mid laners. So any lane can really use this. As we see here, Garen top lane facing Jax. Again, we did already see this clip. Actually, no, we didn't. This is a different clip. So you're gonna see him gain that, you see that gain, he gained that boost of speed. That's what it is. Great play by Garen. We're gonna slow it down here to make sure we saw it. So you'll see him just get that burst of speed. He used it right there. When he, when he becomes gold, he really gets that movement speed. You can even see the wind behind him. Super cool effects by Wild Rift. So that's gonna be all for today, guys. Pretty simple, pretty short. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because I'd love to answer them. I will respond to every comment. Looking forward to tomorrow's video. We have Wilder for Dummies episode three coming up. Hope you guys are learning. And I'm telling you, we're gonna be ready to play when this game comes out. We're gonna be able to download it and you're gonna know what you're doing and we're gonna dominate. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate all the support. We will see you tomorrow. Peace.